Welcome back, everyone. It's no surprise that we here at Interspace are huge fans of Orphan Black. It's a great show. Visited the set and interviewed the cast numerous times. We recapped the show weekly, and we even created an after show called After the Black. So, yeah, that's how much we love the show. One thing we haven't done yet, though, is investigate the science behind Orphan Black. That is, until now. <laughs> Well, we all love Orphan Black because of how dramatic and, well, awesome it is. But what about the science of Orphan Black? How accurate is it? I'm here at the lab of Brenda Andrews and Charlie Boone at the University of Toronto to talk to my friend, Dr. Aaron Stiles, to find out just how accurate the science in Orphan Black really is. Dr. Aaron Stiles is a molecular geneticist who works with baker's yeast because its genome is surprisingly similar to that of humans. She also gave me a lesson on cloning 101. So cloning is basically just making a copy of something. How do you clone something? Like, how do you take the essence of life and just say, oh, we're going to copy that over there now? Like, how does it happen? <laughs> One of the things that we do in this lab a lot is um, cloning fragments of DNA and putting them into other cells. Okay. So to clone a little piece of DNA, you can use a machine that Cosima references in her lab, which is called a PCR machine. So you can use PCR to amplify as much or as little DNA as you want, and then put it into a cell. That's the infertility sequence. God, no wonder we're all screwed up. How would you grade Orphan Black on its scientific accuracy out of 10? Is it, is it above <laughs> five? It's way above five, yeah? shockingly. I went in with extreme skepticism. Uh, their science director, Kasima Herter, did a beautiful job. Uh, yeah. It's shockingly accurate to what the actual day-to-day -day in a lab would be. This sequence is anomalous for cytochrome C, and then this piece is distinct in each sample. They're different. Kira, there's a lot of speculation that you might have superpowers. Do you think that would be conceivable if there were like two clones that got together? and Would their offspring have superpowers? Uh, so clone babies are just like regular human babies. Okay. So if their parents, if, if their parents have superpowers, then their baby will have superpowers. So, is human cloning possible? Uh, the science is not quite there yet. Theoretically, it's almost possible, though. If we can clone a sheep, why can't we clone a human? What makes us so special compared to a sheep? Cloning Dolly the sheep, for example, she was one successful effort out of almost 300 attempts. So, and that was just a sheep. So there's some ethical dilemmas around trying and failing 300 times with human embryos. Is cloning the next step? in evolution or is AI our next step? Uh, I think it would depend who you ask that question yeah. to. If you're asking a computer geek, they're going to say AI, and if you're asking a biologist, they're going to say cloning. The flip side of that, though, is the more times you copy something, um, ostensibly the fewer times you're mixing it up. So it could equally be considered a step backwards to only clone. Or we've got like a perfect example that we do want to clone. Absolutely. Like yeah. Beyonce or something. If we had a world of Beyonce's, we would be in our most evolved form. Yeah. Okay, I officially love Dr. Aaron. Yeah. Amazing. I love how she shut you down when you asked if two clones would produce a superhuman baby. Well. No. No, no it would, that would not happen. Uh, but great to hear that Orphan Black is scientifically very accurate. I was uh, surprised as well. I mean, the one thing that she said it didn't end up in the piece was that, you know, sometimes when things happen, they sort of speed things up compared to how long it would take in, yeah, in real life. But uh, yeah, otherwise she had nothing bad to say about the show and that they did a fantastic job capturing real science. So. Yeah.